I'm going to be spoiling this game. It's $10 on Steam if you're interested. I know you, and I would never lie to you. This game is about art. It's the most concentrated dose of art you'll see in a video game. And this game doesn't even have a sprint button. Like, what are you supposed to do? Listen to the dialogue? Look at the visuals? Listen to the environment? It's so pretty. These are actually great environments, and I spent most of my time with this game doing nothing but exploring. And this is really hard to make a game about. Okay, we'll get back to this in a second, but let me tell you a little bit about my Montessori school. Nope. Uh, not quite. Perfect. Back then, when I was given assignments, I would, I would just draw all over them. Um, and the teacher didn't like that very much. Which is a big factor why I got shame for doodling. I make videos that I think you guys want to see, and not really what I want to make. Which is why this video game is really cool. <laughs> Alright, spoilers beyond this point. The game is about a guy named Coda who made video games for himself between 2008 and 2011, and Davey Warden, who wrote the Stanley Parables and was friends with Coda. But here's the thing. <laughs> but here's the thing. Coda didn't upload his games. Davey did. And this game is Davey showing us Coda's work. Now, this is weird on its own, but the way Davey spins the web trying to convince the player that he's doing the right thing is an incredible testament to his writing skill. He really is the best here. But no matter what, Davey was wrong. And if someone took my artwork and tried to show others, uh... So the thing is... Not again! The best part of this game is the ending, so go play yourself if you haven't. During the ending, I was thinking of how beautiful these environments are and how glad I was to play Coda's game. Each game was interesting and ended with a fun little lamppost. When Coda's games started taking a darker turn, I couldn't help but feel sympathetic. I know what this feels like, and as a player, I need to know more. And then Coda gives Davey one more game. And it's the most monotonous, unsolvable, BS little demo I've ever played. Luckily, we have Davey as a guide, who helps us solve them one last time. And Davey has consistently helped us out of tough spots. But right at the end of the very last game, it had this message. Coda's games were never meant to be shared around. He didn't want to post endings to his games. He never wanted Davy's help. And now, I'm sitting here as a player, feeling gross and out of place, playing a game I was never meant to play. The beginner's guide is as lonely as it is bizarre. Coda will make puzzles impossible, never put endings to his games. He'll hide geometry and interesting ideas that the viewer can never reach. His art is beautiful and personal. Playing through it, I felt like I got to know him better. But the best art leaves us with questions. Did Coda need a push? Does art have to have a viewer? Does somebody need to watch my videos? So I'll end with I love you guys and I hate you guys. I want you to understand what it's like to view other people's artwork, so play this game. It shows you what it's like. It's great. Uh, and I'll finish this. <laughs>